Congressman Matt Cartwright cut the ribbon yesterday on his new office in downtown Hazleton. The congressman addressed a nice crowd inside of the Can-Do Renaissance Center at the corner of Broad and Church Streets. Cartwright served the 17th district, but as a result of redistrict redistricting, he now serves the 8th district that includes Hazleton. And I knew immediately that I wanted to take this office space at Broad and Church as a, as a sign of my commitment to working hard for the, the citizens of Hazleton uh, to improving uh, the economic development landscape in this area. People want jobs, they want good paying jobs. Uh, and in my mind, and I'm a good little capitalist, Lisa, I think that everything starts with a good job. That is the best social program going, is a good job that's family sustaining, and so many good things flow from that. There are things that a member of Congress can do uh, to stimulate that kind of thing, and I'm on the, the Appropriations Committee in Congress. I worked hard to get on that committee uh, because it is a way that yet you can bring back federal dollars so that we get our fair share of federal dollars back in our area and in our economy. The more dollars in our economy, the more jobs and the better jobs that we have for our people. We'll have more on the Congressman on a feature edition of our sister show, Community NEPA News. Well after the ribbon was cut on his new office, Congressman Carwright hosted a town hall meeting last night in Hazleton. It was held at the Hazleton Elementary and Middle School, also known as the Castle. Cartwright says he enjoys having these meetings because it feels that it, that it is his duty to serve the people of his district. The reason for that is that the Founding Fathers wanted it to be that way. They wanted the house to be close to the people. That's why they call it the People's House. Mm -hmm. um, and I take that seriously, and I take seriously my obligation to make myself available to the people, to listen to their opinions, uh, where I don't agree with them. I mean, you know my style. I'm pretty plain spoken, and I'll tell them where I stand on things. But I think people appreciate that, even if they don't agree with me. The topics that were discussed were the area's youth, jobs, and climate change.